Hello everyone and welcome to this unit about Simplify non-SAP connectivity. As mentioned already earlier in the earlier units, SAP Integration Suite is our strategic integration platform for the integration of SAP as well as non-SAP applications. And as you can see here on the right hand side of this picture, SAP Integration Suite is clearly positioned and also used by our customers for the integration of all kinds of SAP and non-SAP systems like cloud applications, on-premise applications, public authorities, e-document scenarios, business networks, social media channels, business partner integration, and all or many of these systems are non-SAP applications. And for this, we need to have a good set, a strong set of adapters as well as prepackaged content to further simplify the integration with non-SAP applications. So the focus of this session is on the capabilities of SAP Integration Suite, namely adapters as well as content that we provide to ease the integration for SAP and non-SAP applications. And on this slide, you can see the long list of adapters that we provide out of the box with SAP Integration Suite, more than 250 adapters, which are provided to you, which you can use with SAP Integration Suite, technical adapters like HTTP, HTTPS adapter, FTP, FTPS adapter, mail adapter, OData version 2, version 4 we support, MQP adapter, AS2, AS4, Kafka, RabbitMQ adapter, as well as many, many application adapters, integration with our own SAP applications like Ariba adapter, MDI adapter, success factors adapters, but also many, many adapters for non-SAP integrations like AWS with the flavors of S3, SQS, SNS, SWF, Salesforce adapter, Microsoft Dynamics, Microsoft Azure storage adapter with four flavors you know, for blob, file, queue, and table, SharePoint adapter, Dropbox, ServiceNow, Workday adapter. So the list of application is long. Even here, you can see even more adapters are available for SAP integration suite you know, according to um, application areas like CRM, e-commerce, ERP applications. And of course, partners also develop adapters for SAP Integration Suite. You can see an example list. One good news is that you don't have to use Eclipse anymore to build adapters for SAP Integration Suite. So you could, can use any development environment to create adapters and deploy adapters for SAP Integration Suite. And the second good news is for the deployment of the adapters, you can directly use the SAP Integration Suite design time environment to also deploy the adapters to your tenant. In previously, you might remember you know, for third-party adapters you know, from our OEM um, providers, you had to download the adapters from the service marketplace and deploy them separately via an Eclipse tooling environment to the tenant. This is not required anymore. You can directly leverage and consume the adapters from the design time environment of SAP Integration Suite and deploy them and maintain them from the web tooling environment of SAP Integration Suite. So let's now take a look how SAP Integration Suite supports multiple prepackaged integration content as well as adapters out of the box. So we can search for prepackaged integration content first via SAP Integration Suite directly, namely in the Discover area. Here you will be able to see all the thousands of prepackaged integration scenarios. So we navigate to the integrations, discover sections on our SAP integration suite tenant. And can see here, yeah, thousands, 3000 plus prepackaged integration scenarios, as well as adapters delivered out of the box with SAP integration suite. And another option is also to search for prepackaged content and adapters on the SAP Business Accelerator Hub. So here we can click on the Discover Integrations section here, and then we can see when we scroll down here on the SAP Business Accelerator Hub, yeah, all the SAP and non-SAP integration scenarios. And the list is long of also non-SAP integrations that are supported out of the box with SAP Integration Suite. 
And in our example, let's search now for ServiceNow related integration content. And we can see even here, we have content for ServiceNow integration with SAP and non-SAP integration scenarios. So let's take a look here at SAP S4 HANA integration with ServiceNow. We can find yeah, this integration package here. And this integration package comes with two integration flows, one for the replication of cost center, the other one for the replication of exchange rate. So, and besides the integration artifacts, also document documentation is delivered, so which describes clearly how to configure this integration scenario, what to do in the backend applications, namely SAP S4 HANA, ServiceNow, as well as on the SAP integration suite tenant. So, for example, get the technical user in your SAP S4 HANA system, do the SOA manager configuration. And yeah, once we want to use this package, we can directly copy it from the SAP Business Accelerator Hub to our own workspace. We just have to initially configure which tenant we would like to use for this copy function. And then we can directly copy this integration package into our own workspace, the, des the design area of our SAP integration suite tenant. And we can see here now in the design area, this integration package has been copied. Before we get started, only one more activity, namely we search now here directly in the, again in the discover area integrations for the adapter for the ServiceNow adapter. Again, here in the description, we can see, for example, which authentication methods are supported via the ServiceNow adapter and which formats it supports, XML and JSON, for example. So this has multiple benefits to use a specialized adapter for the integration with ServiceNow. We can copy it also here to the design area. And once we go back to the design area, we can find the adapter. And there's only one activity, namely we deploy now this adapter as a one-time activity to our own tenant without Eclipse directly here from the design area of SAP Integration Suite. And now we are ready to go. We go to the integration package for the integration scenario. We can see as again here our two integration artifacts for the replication of cost center and exchange rate. We would like to use the one for cost center replication, which is a scheduled integration flow. We can see it. So it's a timer based event. So we need to configure the timer, how often, in which interval the uh, data sh shall be picked, you know, the cost center data shall be picked from the S4, S4 HANA system. And then data will be mapped to the cost center structure of the ServiceNow application. And then we can insert or update the cost center in ServiceNow. And also out of the box, an error handling integration flow is delivered for error handling purposes in case there's an error with the integration flow. For example, an administrator can be informed via an email. Yeah, so let's configure this scenario. So we just need to configure here the scheduler basically. So in which time interval we would like to pull new cost center information from the SAP S4 HANA system. And then we need to configure three receivers. One is the ServiceNow receiver with the endpoint in the ServiceNow adapter. And secondly, we need to configure also the integration with the S4 HANA cloud system. So also here endpoint information, the credentials, the authentication method that we would like to use to integrate with the SAP S4 HANA system. And last but not least, we also need to configure the mail adapter, like with the mail server. We need to um, provide here the address as well as the to and from email addresses for the error iFlow. And once we have configured the entire integration flow, we can deploy the integration flow. And once it has been successfully deployed, it can be used. So what we need to do is now, since it's a triggered, a timer-based scenario, we need to now go into the SAP S4 HANA system and create a cost center. So in our case, we create a new cost center now here with uh, via the transaction case 01. So we provide here just um, the cost center as well as a date from when it should be valid on. This is the initial screen. And then on the second screen, we can now provide further information on the cost center, like a name, the description, 
as well as, as well as additional information, for example, the responsible and the hierarchy and the business area. And once we have saved the data, a cost center will be created. You can see that the cost center has been created. And now, after the cost center has been created successfully, there should be also a message being triggered once the next scheduled time is due when this iFlow is being scheduled. So let's go to the monitoring area. We can see here already one successfully processed message. So this should be our message after the cost center has been created in the SAP S4HANA system. So we can open this integration flow. It yeah, has been just been executed. We can also go to the trace here so that we can see all the pipeline steps on the left hand side. We can see all the pipeline steps in the, in, on the right hand side uh, nicely in uh, which via which path the IFLA has been executed. So, cost center has been pulled, data uh, uh, has been pulled from the SAP S4 HANA system, and then it will be mapped to the structure, cost center structure of the service now application. And then, depending on whether the cost center already exists, it will be updated, or in case the cost center does not exist yet, it will be inserted, a new cost center will be inserted in the ServiceNow application. So with this demo, we could hopefully show how SAP Integration Suite supports the integration with prepackaged content and adapters for the integration of SAP as well as non-SAP applications, like in this case, a ServiceNow application. With this, I hope I could show to you how simple it is to integrate non-SAP applications using the prepackaged content and the rich set of adapters that are available for SAP Integration Suite.